it's in type 2 diabetics especially, there are a lot of them are overweight, they don't exercise, so we encourage them to exercise and arginine actually makes them able to exercise longer, the endurance goes up, makes a difference. It also because improves circulation to all the end organs, to the kidneys, to the pancreas, to the heart, to the muscle, we are able to use blood sugar more efficiently and that too will bring diabetes blood sugar down because blood circulation improves and with improved circulation glucose is able to take up much more and therefore the insulin resistance goes down. Today alone I will tell you I did five patients with end stage heart disease. What does that mean? Their heart muscle has already been destroyed beyond repair. These are the patients who end up requiring heart transplant. So we do, we still manage them we put them on medication, we put defibrillators in them, we try to open up the arteries, but this is the end result. We want to get to the patients in their 30s, in their 40s, in their 20s, before this comes about. That is our goal. If I were to prevent, you know, we have 22,000 patients in our clinic. A lot of them come to us late. What we want to do is educate those patients and say, look, if you do this step one, step two, step three, and we have outlined them, and, in, and good nutrition to go along with it, then we can prevent the heart transplant cases. We can prevent congestive heart failure. We can prevent renal failure, and that is our goal.